There is a portly new pinniped in the waters off Oslo this summer. Freya the walrus has slowly made her way around several ports of call in the Baltic Sea. Her favorite pastimes, sunbathing, seafood, and crushing seafaring vessels. Her face has launched a thousand tweets and even some fan art. And we must now beg forgiveness from John, George, Ringo, and especially the walrus, Paul, as we bring you this tribute to Freya from our Scandinavian wildlife correspondent, Malcolm Brabant. Climbing on a Nordic vessel, waiting for the sun. Man, you've been a naughty girl. You made the boat go down. You aren't a deckhand. Call out the frogman. Friar the walrus, goo -goo -goo -goo. Apologies to the Beatles for crucifying their psychedelic hit, but here in the Baltic, there's a new walrus in town, and she's causing mayhem in her quest to find the perfect pleasure cruiser. You can see she's a big lady, and that she's curious, uh, and she's not afraid of people. She loves to rest. Nadia Gianni from the Norwegian Directorate of Fisheries is part of a team trying to take care of Friar's welfare and security. The main thing is to observe and make people uh, get the information how to be safe around her and also make her safe around people. Named after the Norse goddess of love and beauty, Friar weighs in at 1,300 pounds. Friar was also the goddess of war. No wonder boats send out distress signals when she clambers on board. I sympathise. I know what it feels like to be a shipping hazard. Wow. Fryer's adventures have garnered fans among the Twitterati. Fryer is quite the traveller. She's been spotted in Britain, she's been seen here in Denmark and in Sweden. Her natural habitat is the Arctic, but the Baltic Sea is lake-like and it's very difficult to find the exit, especially if you've lost your bearings like Friar. Perhaps that's why she's trying to hijack the perfect boat. Runa O oh is a researcher at Norway's Southeastern University. He encountered Friar in March and since then has been tracking and mapping her movements. She's really fat and she has a lot of food in the area. She's eating scallops, mussels, so there's no problem with feeding. She comes from Svalbard and I guess she want to go back to her flock. Here's hoping that Fryer makes it home. My advice, keep swimming. I'm really getting too long in the tooth for stories like this. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Malcolm Brabant in the Baltic Sea. And Fryer's story has never been told in the way that Malcolm has just told it. Malcolm will never think of you the same way.